Most people look at their car as a safe space, but friends, it's not. Today's video is brought to us by the generosity of Firearms Legal Protection. Firearms Legal Protection is a legal defense program for lawful gun owners. You win the fight and they will help you win the fight after the fight for the rest of your life. There's a link in the description for a coupon code for a discount for all active self-protection watchers. Welcome to today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Houston, Texas in the United States. And it shows us a lady who's just minding her own business when suddenly she's the victim of a crime. This one ends up being really interesting. So watch here what we have is we have a bunch of these guys. It's two o'clock in the morning outside of a bar and this woman has just gotten into her car. That's what the taillights are, kind of middle left there. And you see these guys coming up and kind of eyeballing her. If you go read the description from Houston PD, what happens is one of them comes up to the passenger side and says, hey, have you got any drugs? And gets this woman's attention averted away while the other guy goes to the other side and sticks a gun in her face. And then they are going to shake her down and start looking for what she has in the car. Uh, only things that she has in the car with her apparently are her mobile device and a fanny pack that she actually has stuck over her shoulder. And so they are going to look through her car. You can see they've got the door open here and they're gonna kinda sit around in there while they're shaking her down and trying to get all the stuff from her. Now, some of them are going to leave a little early. You see them starting to head out, but notice how long it's taking here for them to shake her car down. And, and while this may seem like a long time to us, I'm sure it seems like for ever to the woman in this car who has a gun stuck in her face. Now notice here that we have a second car that comes in. Again, it's two o'clock in the morning at the bar. And so what we're gonna see here is as these armed robbers are all starting to leave, you're gonna see the second vehicle here. This woman is gonna get out and leave her significant other in the car in the passenger seat. Now, when the final robbers here, you see all the robbers are kind of getting the heck out of there. Notice the last one here was the guy with the gun in his hand. He's the only firearm that we saw earlier, that we've heard about earlier. And now he's leaving and trying to play it cool while the first victim bounces. Then he sees a moment of opportunity here and opens the door and sticks a gun in the face of the passenger who thinks about getting out for a second, chooses not to. So the guy's gonna shake him down for his stuff as well. Guy's gonna wisely give his stuff up and then he is going to run off and that is where this one ends. A tough spot to be in for sure. If you appreciate the lessons you get here every day at Active Self Protection, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a lesson. Today, I wanna think about the dangerous transitional space that your car can be. I also wanna think about fighting multiple attackers and when compliance may be your best strategy. So let's think about the transitional space first that is your car. Now you gotta recognize that when your vehicle is stopped and it is in a public space, that it is a transitional space and that's anywhere that allows attackers to attack with an, an element of surprise and an easy element of escape. And certainly a car sitting in a public place like this is a transitional space. In our cars, a lot of times we think about the, them as private space, but they're not private space. They're a public space and a transitional space. You gotta maintain awareness. You notice what they did for awareness here is that they distracted, is that one of them posed the question, hey, you got any drugs? While the other one went around the other side and then stuck a gun in her face. And at that point, you got a gun stuck in your face, compliance may very well be the best bet. Next, I wanna think about the rules of stupid here. We have two rules of stupid broken. Number one, it's two o'clock in the morning, that's a stupid time. Number two, this is a stupid place outside the bar. Remember the rules of stupid. Don't go stupid places with stupid people at stupid times and do stupid things. Being at a stupid place, the bar, at 2 a.m., a stupid time, really increases your chance of being victimized. And so there's a big lesson here about not breaking rules of stupid. If you break two, your chances of being victimized go up quite a bit. Now, a couple of more things here that we want to think about. That next is that is this lady, our secondary victim here, gets out of the car, she closes the door and leaves the door unlocked. Can't tell you enough, when you are in a car, again, it's a transitional space, you lock your doors. Never leave your car doors open with anybody in them. If you are in the car, the doors have to be locked and that means if somebody gets out, you manually lock the doors after they get out because this is just a crime of opportunity. He sees the door unlocked and, and goes for it, tries to open it, it works, and so he's able to get another score. Finally, in both these cases here, if somebody's sticking a gun in your face, if you're not prepared, probably compliance is your best bet in this point. And th that's a calculus that you have to do in the moment, that you just have to say, listen, you know, in this case, I can't draw a gun on from the drop like this. There's really nothing that I'm gonna do to defend myself in this instance, and the best bet is probably just to comply in that instance. That said, 
if you'd been paying attention, if you'd had the things around you recognizing the time and the place and all the dangers that you could be in, had been prepared and had the tools on you, you might have been able to make a different decision. But given what we have here instead, compliance was probably their best bet. So learn the lessons here about the transitional space of our vehicle, about the importance of paying attention, about locking your dang doors, about following the rules of stupid so that we can cover our ASP.